I'm going to show you how to model this chair base and also this one. They're pretty much the exact same. The only difference is the rails and the tips of the legs are covered in upholstery, whereas these ones aren't. The rails and the tips of the leg are exposed, but they're still made the same way. So I've got a 2D drawing here in the top viewport. That's the top profile. It's the front rail, front leg, side rail, back leg. This is the front view, and this is the side view. This here, this is the front profile of that back chair leg. So something to take note is something to take note of is that this chair tilts back two degrees. So that's two degrees. So this will be sitting on the ground like that and that'll get trimmed off. So firstly what I'm going to do is create a new layer, call it 3D model. Okay, copy this. Then change the layer to the 3D model layer. Going to delete that and that and that. I'm going to move these to the center of the origin. So like this and move this to the center of the origin. And what I'm going to do is rotate them, rotate the legs. Rotate the side profiles of the legs. We're going to move them from here to here, from here to here. Then what I want to do is extrude the front profile, extrude the side profile, then Boolean intersection. So that's now created the legs. So I'm going to extrude the rails, 35 mil. I'm going to copy this leg from there to there. Gonna copy this from there to there. So I'm going to rotate. I'm going to mirror. So that's the chair base. All that needs to be done now is the joins, whether you want dowel or mortise or tenon or whatever. And then it needs to be tilted back. So I'm going to copy. Then hide. Then let's just say we're doing mortise and tenon joins. I'll just do them for the back legs.
I'm going to move this out here, rotate, go into the front viewport, and then divide. Draw a circle, make the diameter 20 mil. Draw a line from here to here. I'm going to trim. I'm going to join these curves. Delete, move, rotate, I'm going to extrude this, Extrude at 10 mil. I'm going to now and I'm going to mirror them again. Now what I need to do is to join them together. So I'll do that with Boolean union. That's now joined it together. So now what I want to do is cut the hole inside of here with the mortise and tenon. So I'll do that with Boolean difference. And then Boolean difference again. So that is it with the mortise and you do the same thing for the front leg, the front rails. So I'm going to copy. Hide. So now that all needs to be done. So it needs to be rotated back. Two degrees. So I'm going to extrude this curve. Then what I'm going to do is a boolean difference. So that's now trimmed it. And that's it.